Okay. Hello guys, Tom here. Hope everybody is fine in this global lockdown state of emergency, state of quarantine, um, pandemic. Um, where do I start now? Maybe just a brief update about how it's going for me, everybody, everything is, is fine here. Um, I just, I have a, I think I can manage, I've been through so lonely time, I mean, very lonely times in my days, so I've kind of got a thick skin, I think you could say, and um, I managed to, to stay alone pretty well, I mean, I'm not completely alone, I live with people, uh, but uh, I'm working from home, you know, I, I do, I do quite well doing that. I don't, I don't mind. I'm just grateful, extremely grateful for what I do have in life and for my family back home, for the people that I met, the people that I do have in my life. Even though they are, I have some real uh, challenges, just like everybody. Everybody that seems, which this video is a bit gonna be about, uh, everybody have a perception of their their fellow beings, you know, through the social media and how they think they live, how did how they think they have a great life and everything. But I tell you, everybody got problems. Everybody got their insecurities just like and the best medicine is not to try to fight that by showing off a glamorous lifestyle just look at a lot of millennials and people on on social media now the world is like it is now but some people they are just keep going with their fantasy and their image and their shallow lifestyle to be honest like very materialistic lifestyle that don't mean a shit in the end of the day they are just being like a product of what is going on now with this day society they following certain behaviors and patterns and having specific opinions that powers want them to have basically they don't challenge anything they are just they don't think for themselves, they are just behaving with certain mar marketing ideals to capitalize it on a bit themselves. And they think that, that maybe what they were supposed to do, but actually they are just a product of it. I mean, we're all sort of a product, all of us, to some extent, absolutely. But I know, and things this whole thing with the COVID-19 and some interviews that I see and it's like the, something big is changing in the, on the earth. I'm, I'm afraid it's not gonna be like, go back to completely normal again. I, th I mean, I think it will go back to a stabilized situation, but I think there are some changes that will happen behind the curtains that is, I don't really know what, but economical changes that is gonna like restructure the world in the coming decade. Hopefully for the better, but for sure things are not as they seem, you know. So let's get in a little bit on that. Let's talk a little bit about the thing that letting go, except that maybe you end up in a situation that doesn't feel ideal. Don't be afraid to let go, accept that situation that you're in, but never lose that kind of 
curiosity within you about your your dreams and goal because they are they, it's there for a reason you know I, I truly believe that we have uh, we have a, a God's given path that we have to go and we're all going there but we all have different paths to get there um, so this is what I've been thinking about recently very hard about following really that even if it may feel scary and you feel alone and people may maybe make fun of you or you have to let people behind maybe even people that you really really care about but you have to do something because it's for you and the right thing to do for you is to be honest to yourself and that kind of uh, curiosities and spark I don't know the vision within um, so everything's gonna be really fine um, it's just sometimes you can feel you falling into a hole but I think that's what you have to do if you are that kind of person that is if you are not satisfied you know there is more to it you know there's more to your 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 potential is higher and your you can do more with yourself and what you what you what you think of yourself basically you know that maybe you have to go through some storm through a dark forest like scared out of your mind by yourself But mm, that in combination with what's going on now, I think there's like a reason. I think a lot of people, they are somehow, I mean, not the ones that I talked about earlier, that is just so careful of their image and living up to showing something uh, externally, a perception, which is not the reality. I think a lot of other people also start to realize due to what's going on globally, and maybe a sort of an awakening happening for many people to to not be afraid and don't do what your parents ex uh, expect from you do what your tribe your friends expect from you you're gonna do something that was meant for you to be doing you know and when you know that and you're doing it you start doing it like I said you may feel you might feel very terrified but then you accept your truth and you accept like that you are going to do that you're gonna go for it and it's like uh, you feel much lighter yeah you feel like you can carry a mountain on your shoulder um, I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy and you're gonna be able to do it the whole way but uh, that kind of relief that you can actually go for it and you have that truth for yourself you go your truth you walk your truth and you speak your truth that way that's a big step you know and then obviously along the way it's gonna be challenges just like it's gonna be um, one step forward, two steps back, and so on, but... And then also the thing that... Ideas, dreams, goals, they are they're flexible, you know, they change also, to respect that. Maybe you have a vision how things gonna turn out, but very often they turn out differently. That's how it's been for me, and I realize so far for me it's been very interesting that i've been ended up in situation fly in uh, situations where uh, i thought it was going to be a specific way and it took another turn but 
maybe I didn't understand why that happened to me right there and then. So I was like kind of anxious or doubtful, thought too much about how I could end up in that situation. But then when I like tied let me back to where I felt connected again, I understand there's like a reason why we drifted off there. There's like, I used to say that there's always something that you can learn from wh whatever position you end up in, whatever life situation, whatever job that you have. There is something there that you need to like open up. You just need to open up yourself basically and, and take in that, that there might be some key, key feature that you might have, uh, that you gather from there. Maybe you know it directly, or you see that later on. So yeah, I'm gonna leave there, I think, because I got stuff to do. As always, I'm excited, happy, uh, stay positive, and last but not least, grateful for um, experiences that we take along. You know. And uh, it's just getting started. Bye bye. And yeah, one thing that I forgot. Um, yeah, that I hear a quote recently which I feel resonates very much with me. Uh, it's that. The life, it doesn't happen to you, it happened for you. We are not here to just accept that or believe that it's happening to you, that you're gonna get everything. There's a balance, it happened for us and we have to take it. Just that.